I introduce to you all a special challenger in this illustrious competition. The only competitor who does not already hold the title of Iron Chef. Welcome, Chef, to Kitchen Stadium! You are about to start an epic battle. A match of skills and creativity previously unseen. You will battle. Whoa. Iron Chef, Alfred Valerier. There's a method for everything. There's always more to a battle in Kitchen Stadium than just the hour time limit. The wily chairman often pops up a surprise just to keep things interesting. With bated breath, here we sit. Audience, judges, and I, your humble announcer, waiting to see what great riches and devilish challenges await. Let's to the chairman. Chefs, there is one final ingredient to this battle. Our secret ingredient. The secret ingredient is... Albacore tuna! Oh. I like cuisine! Fame and glory have been promised for a successful bout in Kitchen Stadium, but with this secret ingredient reveal done, all we can do is wait to shower one competitor with the confetti of triumph. Now the albacore is capable of what's called thermoregulation, meaning they can control their body temperature to a certain degree, and this allows for very deep diving. Now for those of you out there who are amateur ichthyologists, you know how weird that is. Boy hole. Big game fishing, centering largely around tuna off the shores of Cuba, was popularized by Ernest Hemingway. species of tuna swim with dolphins to discourage shark attacks, but the albacore tuna does not. Flatten! Kneading stretches the gluten, which can then capture gases, allowing the bread to rise. The idea is to get as much food product processed into roughly the same size as quickly as possible. Flatten! Yeasts are single-celled organisms with very simple needs. They need a little heat, a little water, a little food, usually in the form of a sugar, and need some time to do their thing. The name albacore comes from the Arabic al-bakra, meaning roughly the large camel. It's assumed that this name was used due to the size of the fish and possibly its large dorsal fin. 
Slice. One quarter has elapsed. This doesn't have to be a very precise operation. Fede! Americans now eat over one billion pounds of canned or pouched tuna every year. Mix! The first mechanical mixer, a hand crank model, was patented in 1870 by a Rhode Island man named Sir Walter Scott. Slice! In America, only albacore tuna can be sold with the label white meat tuna. Other species are sold under the label light meat. Oil! Oh, this fish is most easily identified by its extraordinarily long pectoral fins. They can be up to three quarters the length of the fish. Pressure cook. The most expensive fish sold at public market uh, was auctioned at the Skiji Fish Market in Tokyo. The total price, $173,600. That's 391 bucks a pound. There's some hot action going on at the grill station over here. Chop! Until 1903, tuna was generally seen as a, a nuisance fish that got in the way of other more important seafood. A sardine shortage forced a change in the American public's perception of the fish. Roll. One half has elapsed. Oil. Tokyo's famed Skiji Market opens at 3 a.m. Bars visitors from the tuna auction area, both to prevent impediments to trade, as well as to control sanitation. Flatten! The FDA does not define or authenticate sushi-grade fish. Instead, it is a label applied at will by the supplier. Avoid problems by learning to love your fish monitor, as the chairman clearly does. Poor! When adding any alcohol to a pan on the stove, turn off the heat. Flambe is good for a show, but it can be sad for the eyebrows. Chop! Chopping onions make people cry because a gas released by broken cells turns it to an acid when it comes into contact with the liquid in your eyes. Dorky goggles have not been proven to help. Sorry. Stir. Whip it! Oh, bother. That's a little cheesy that I couldn't resist. Chop! Use your knuckles to guide the knife. No fingertips. You'd be sad if you did that. Sus!